Prisma Postgres is now generally available, which means we can go ahead and use it in our production applications. And if you happen to be using Netlify to host your applications, we've now got an integration which should make it much simpler to tie up to your Prisma Postgres database and manage multiple environments. So today, let's take a look at how to use the Prisma Postgres integration in Netlify and how we can deploy an app that uses Prisma Postgres. I'm over here in Netlify. I've already got a starter application that's been deployed. Let's take a look at this, open production deploy. This uses the Netlify Next.js starter, so just a really simple way to get started. And what we'll do is come over to the sidebar and let's look for extensions. In the extension marketplace here, let's look for Prisma. So there it is, let's click into it. And we just have to click install. So the extension expects that we're going to have an integration token from our Prisma Postgres database, and more particularly from the workspace that we've got in the Prisma data platform. Let's head over to the Prisma data platform and check out what we've got there. So I've got this workspace, Prisma on Netlify. The first thing we'll do here is go to the integrations area. We can choose the Netlify integration and we can generate an integration token. All right, so there's the token, let's copy that. And now let's put this into the integration token field that we saw over here. So integration token goes into this field and we can click to save that. All right, so at this point, the integration is all set up. We've effectively got a connection between Netlify and our workspace here in the Prisma data platform. The next step for us in Netlify would be to use the extension in any of the sites that we've got here. Before we do that though, let's create for ourselves a Prisma Postgres database in our projects area. So let's come over to projects. We'll click new project. Let's give it a name. I'm going to choose Netlify starter. We'll choose Prisma Postgres, get started there, and create project. All right, so the database is connected. Down here, we get this environment variable, a database URL. Let's just copy that to the clipboard and we'll use that in just a second. One thing to note here is that this Netlify starter project by default has a development environment, but, but what we're going to want for Netlify will be two environments. We'll want development like we've got, but then also a production environment. We're going to come back in just a sec to do that. All right, so this Netlify starter application, this Next.js application, I've got it loaded up here. The application doesn't yet have any Prisma stuff in it, so let's take care of that. The first thing we need to do is npm install as a dev dependency, Prisma. All right, and then we can just install Prisma client for good measure, npm install at Prisma slash client. The next thing we'll do is npx Prisma init to get started. And then over here in our Prisma directory, we've got a schema. Let's get ourselves a user model. So we'll do model user, and that'll have an ID, which is going to be, I'm just gonna use an integer here. So we'll do int, and this should be default of auto increments. And we've got email and name as well. All right, so in the environment file, that is going to be where we put our database URL that came from Prisma Postgres. So for the development environments, we've got that. So, so let's save this environment file. We'll close that up. And then let's do npx prisma migrate dev. We'll give it a name of init. All right, cool. So that's all loaded up. Let's go back over to the Prisma data platform. We're going to go into studio. So here's our user model. Let's click into there and just add a record really quickly. So the email can be john at doe.com and John Doe can be our person. Save that change. Now let's modify the main view in our Next.js application over here. So if we go to pages, we should have pages.jsx. Let's go there. So this is the main page for the application. Let's just replace all of this with some JSX is going to give us information about our users. All right, so let's save that. And then let's do npm run dev. All right, so the app appears to be ready. Let's go over to 3000 and check that out. So there is localhost 3000 and there is our user record. Perfect, everything is set to go there. The next thing we're going to do is set up our production environments over here in our workspace. So let's do new environment. Let's call this one production. Again, it's Prisma Postgres, the US East region, and create. Okay, everything is connected here. So now we can go back over to Netlify and let the integration do its work. And the way that it looks is this. Let's go to the site that we want. And the site is this PPG starter here that I've got. And now in extensions, I've got Prisma Postgres. So let's click into there. Then we can select a project. We'll do Netlify starter. This Netlify starter project here is coming from the Prisma console. That's what we created there. And now we can select our production environment. That's the one that we just created, that new environment. And then here's the first one for development that we created initially. Let's save that. 
All right, so the site settings are saved, and the effect of all this is that we get some environment variables here for our site. So let's go up to site configuration, and if we check out environment variables, we see database URL and Prisma integration token. These two are managed by the Prisma Postgres extension. And a key thing to check out here is that it's locked, and we actually don't have visibility into what the values of these are. If we try to look at them, we just get a hidden value with a little bit at the end, but we're not able to actually access the true values here. All right, so as the last step here, let's push up these changes to our repo so that we can get this deployed in our Netlify site and see if these changes can come through live. One small change we need to make though is in our package.json file. And that is we need to add a script here for post install. So post install is going to run after everything is installed in our Netlify deploy. And what we want to do is Prisma migrate deploy. And we also want to Prisma generate with this flag, which is going to be no engine. And the reason that we pass this flag is that Prisma Postgres does not need the regular binary that's generated with Prisma client. And by passing this flag, we can reduce the deployment size quite a bit. All right, so we're going to save this and we're going to push just right up to main. So let's come into here and let's do add Prisma. Let's commit this. We'll sync that up. So now over in Netlify, we should have a deploy that kicked off. Let's check deploys. There we go, starting up. We're building now. All right, so it looks like everything is published. And we should see as an effect of this, if we're back over in Prisma console here, if we go to our production environment, which we're at right now, and we check out Studio, we should now have everything migrated. And it looks like we do. We got this user model in place. So the user table is in our production database. Let's add a record here. Email can be, again, john at doe.com. And let's do John Doe from prod here. All right. Save that change. And now if everything is wired together correctly, if we go and visit our page, which we can do just here, we should see that record. And there we go, there is John Doe from Prod. So the Netlify extension for Prisma Postgres should make things a lot simpler for us when it comes to deploying our applications on Netlify, and especially when we want to have different targets for our database, depending on what the environment is. We can create multiple environments in our project over in Prisma console, and then we can tie those up to the correct spots in Netlify. If you've got any questions at all about the Netlify extension for Prisma Postgres, please feel free to drop a comment below, or you can reach out to us. We're at prisma.io on the web or at Prisma on Twitter. Thanks for watching.